thought I'd do a little review on the Scorpion EXO 2000. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. This is their, their premium helmet of the Scorpion helmets. I got a really sick deal. It's on sale right now. I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. I really do enjoy this helmet and it made me realize how good Scorpion helmets are. Because in the past, that's all I used to wear was Scorpion helmets. Uh, they're very good quality helmets for the price. Best bang for your buck as far as uh, helmets are concerned. This helmet does have the Snell and DOT certification, actually Snell 2015 certification. Uh, the helmet is only a three pounds, excuse me, 3.5 pounds. So it's not a heavy helmet. It's not the lightest helmet. It's not as light as my Suwami MX Tour helmet, which I really love, my dual sport helmet. Um, which that sits at just a little a tick over uh, like three pounds uh, but that helmet is not Snell 2015 approved from my research uh, any super lightweight helmets that are under like or like uh, under three pounds or a little bit over three pounds they generally don't have the Snell rating so that's something to look out for uh, you, you know, if you want the best protection, you want a highly rated helmet, you definitely want to go with one that has a Snell 2015 rating. Um, also, you know, with this helmet, I'll give, uh, first off, I'll just go with the basics here, is that it does feel lightweight on my head, uh, feels good. This is, I have to, I'll be honest with you, this is... The only helmet, even going back to the older Scorpion helmets uh, that I've owned, I do not have any pressure points whatsoever on this helmet. In the past, with every other helmet, because I have higher cheekbones, is that my cheeks feel, it feels like a vice grip with every other helmet if I go with a size that's true to my head size, which is a medium. I'm about 58 or centimeters, excuse me. Uh, in circumference around my head and generally that fits mediums across the board with every helmet but in the past I used to get helmets that were a size or two sizes bigger and I'd have that real big bobblehead look <laughs> big old big head and uh, and I'll tell you that's not what you want to do you don't want to go a size or two up you want to get it really tight starting off because it'll wear in after time it'll 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 fit like a glove oh yeah baby <laughs> oh yeah oh gotta love the on ramps you can light it up <laughs> but um yeah guys don't listen to what people tell you about helmets and say oh uh, that helmet, it runs small, go a size up or two. Go by the size chart for the helmet, I'll tell you guys, man. Uh, the Suami MX Tour is a super duper tight helmet for me and my size. But I'll tell you, it took a good, I'd say couple months, but it finally did wear in to it's absolutely a perfect fit. Like I said in the past, I, if I got a bigger helmet, it would feel great at first. And then eventually, within I say a few weeks, it would wear in, and then my head, uh, the helmet would be loose, which is what you don't want. You don't want your helmet to be loose on your head. Um, that can uh, compromise your safety. I know a lot of you guys always ask me, Cycle Cruiser, how quiet is the helmet? I generally, usually, when I do reviews on helmets, I don't tell you you know how quiet it is because I always wear earplugs and generally they're all about the same to me with earplugs uh, that's the only way I can ride a motorcycle is with earplugs if you're not wearing earplugs you guys you guys are incurring hearing damage slowly and over time you can develop tinnitus which is a constant ringing in your ears 
highly recommend wearing earplugs. I have a link to some really good ones, the ones that I've been using for like the last five years. Deal. But anyways, with earplugs, this helmet is no more quieter than my Suami MX Tour. Like I said, or pretty much any other helmet that I've had. Um, as far as, so it's, it's, it's fine with earplugs. That's all I can tell you. Uh, but as far as airflow, I have the vents open. There's a vent on the brow up here. Uh, and also a vent on the chin bar. Both of them are open right now. It's 50, like 50 degrees out. And you get a nice stream of airflow. But I'm so spoiled with my Suami MX Tour helmet that flows a ton of air. But the helmet flows good air. Not a ton like my Suami MX Tour, like I said. I'll tell you this, the con to this helmet is that the smoke shield that goes with this helmet, there's like a little bit of cloudiness to it. I don't know what it is. Which, by the way, the smoke tinted shield comes free with this helmet but i tell you it's a little bit cloudy compared to the mirror tint this is a gold mirror tint which you have to pay extra for but this is clear super clear it's evening right now and i can see just as clear and it's great the high vis color this is the raven as you guys know i like high vis it stands out it catches the eye uh, you know, I did a video not too long ago talking about uh, saccadic masking, uh, which basically when people getting, when they're getting ready to turn and they scan, and if they scan too fast, you know, your brain only catches snapshots and it fills in the rest with, uh, with memory. So oftentimes it can miss that motorcycle rider and not catch a snapshot of that motorcycle rider and fill it in with recent memory that doesn't include that motorcycle rider and next thing you know a car driver will pull out in front of that motorcycle rider but i feel with high vis high vis naturally catches the eye uh, because it's unnatural uh, so it's it's going to be a higher chance that that car driver when it's doing a quick scan that it's actually going to catch the snapshot of the motorcycle rider with the high vis gear um, in my opinion use everything to your advantage i tell you when you wear black it, it makes you like a big blind spot so it's easy for cars to miss you if they happen to do that quick scan and experience a psychotic masking and uh so it could set you up for real effed up day but anyways, uh, the aerodynamics on this is absolutely fantastic. Air flows right over it. The air doesn't catch on it at all if you turn your head. So overall, I give the thumbs up to this uh, Scorpion EXO 2000 helmet. Highly recommended. By the way, also I forgot to mention, you can quickly remove and install the shield. And also the shield does not fog whatsoever. Also, it's very easy to mount a GoPro Hero on the front chin bar of this helmet. By the way, I'll include a link to this helmet and the rest of my gear in the description and comment section of this video. You can also go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And that's current links to all of my gear. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And uh, all my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. I'll tell you the thumbs up really helps my channel. It helps me mo be motivated to do more videos. Uh, so I'd appreciate it if you hit thumbs up. And uh, hey, subscribe to my All The One Motorcycle channel. I wish you guys all the best. Wear gear. Don't ride out here without a helmet, guys. It's just foolish. You know, your head is, it depends on how important your head is to you. <laughs> your head, your head should be the most important thing in your life because without your brain intact, you have nothing. If you get brain damage, your, your quality of life goes down. But that's all I have for you guys. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. 
So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash Bugout Moto. Subscribe today.